We are rolling. Okay. Hey guys, this is part two of ultrasounding JKR Pro Tips. So what we're doing is we're looking at some of the females um, from in February. Now we're one month later. Last time we did January 23 or 24. Um, now it is February 19 and we're going to look at these females. Um, look at the ones that had follicles last time and see if we can find some new ones and some of the females that are going a little bit later this season. So I'm going to start out here with, with the number one girl. This is the same one I showed you to start the video last time and we'll see how her follicles have progressed. Alright, this is the first female that we ultrasound in the last video and we, on January 23 she had 2.0 centimeter follicles, that was my estimate. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at them and see if they've grown since then. She has been bred one time this year by a leopard yellow belly, so it should be a neat little clutch. We're going to take a look here and see what we can see. Okay, um, here we go at the bottom of the screen, you can see them very clearly. Now they're at the middle of the screen. That's a good two and a half, I would say, across. And I just estimate I can freeze it, freeze frame and measure it accurately, but that is not. See the tiny little follicles up here above? Tiny little follicles, if I get it right, right there. Above the little ones. Those are residuals. Those probably won't be going this year. That'll be follicles for next year or just the future. But these big ones are the ones that are currently in growth phase in this part of this year's production. I'm not going to bother counting them, but we have a solid two and a half centimeters across. Now, if you don't know if you can see here on my, on my ultrasound, everyone's different. There's dots here. One, two, three, four. Those are represent one centimeter. So that's where I'm estimating from, just based on what I'm seeing here, I'm kind of estimating across about how approximately how big, how large they are. So there you go, that's one good female. Very good. Okay, this next female, um, she's one that had um, very small follicles last time, just residuals, about 0 0.05, um, excuse me, 0.5 centimeters. Um, so now we're going to check her out again. Let's see what we can see. Okay, we got them here at the bottom of the screen. These right here are pretty small. They're about 8.75. Okay, some bigger ones up here. And these are about 1.0s. She's moving on and making this hard. This female has been has been going a little later every year. She used to produce um, in May, lay in May on average. Um, now, for the last couple of years, she's been going about one month later every year. And that's pretty much a result of the fact that on all these females, I try to breed my best males to them, which means it's usually my youngest males. And so each year I tend to put off breeding them as long as possible so that these males get as big as they can prior to breeding. And so that tends to make the females go a little bit later. Almost every year pushes my season out. That's just part of the uh, part of how it works. But she seems like she's, if she's about 1.0 to 1.25. So she needs to go ahead and have her first breeding here shortly to... Uh, to get her head in the right direction. Yeah, we're going. Okay, here we have an albino. Last time we checked her, she had 1.0 follicles, one centimeter, and she was bred about a month ago for the first time to a leopard piebald. So this could make leopard double head albino pieds, which would be really cool. Um, so we're gonna check her now. This is a month later. Okay, we got some little small residuals up here, but if you come down, Getting really big. These are up to 2.0, or maybe even slightly, maybe even slightly larger. Really big follicles here. She is definitely in growth mode, and just a matter of time. Probably won't even put another breeding on her. She should be good to go until she ovulates. And there's no real time schedule to when they ovulate. You just they just kind of all go at their own pace. But you just follow their follic follicular development and. Um, track it as it goes and catch that ovulation you know then you can actually start to know when things are going to happen because you have 50 days until they lay that's the time that you can count on but follicular growth kind of happens at its own pace and it's kind of different for every single animal okay here we have a pastel female and she was at one and a quarter um, on the 23rd of January she's been bred once since then by a butterfly so some butterflies here 
Um, we're going to look at the follicles here and see where she's at. Okay, well, we have a much, much bigger growth here. That thing's huge. Um, here's another one. She's moving. That make it difficult for me. Okay. You got them there. Um, that's a good 2.0, maybe even two and a quarter if you go uh, width-wise. But these are these are definitely great follicles. She's going to the tiny ones there above her, Com above that. Completely normal to see those as well. These are these are nice and big. All right, this is a really cool snake, and we're very excited about this pairing. And we found some follicles, so we're you know it's one of those times when you you see them you. It makes you excited because you realize that the pairing you're hoping for is probably actually going to happen. So this is a a just fantastic hypo spider, which they're not too rare before. This is a really a really, a really underrated snake for how beautiful it is. Um, just just fantastic, gorgeous snake with cheap cheap ingredients. Um, but we were ultrasounding her. She was bred to a pastel gravel het hypo male. And uh, we're really excited about that because these two bred together we should make hypo sp pastel hypo spiders or humblebees, hypo bumblebees, um, het, all the het for highway or their gravels. So we're going to get gravels and regular versions of that. So we're going to look at some follicles here. We're super excited to see that we have solid growth follicles here. Last time, a month ago, um, we measured her at zero we couldn't find any follicles at all and these are just solid easy to find one and a quarters now so this is very likely going to be a clutch that pans out and we'll have some really cool babies from these hopefully